And I feel like this has just turned into a favorites video, but honestly, I'm okay with that. my channel and instead of doing a vlog this week I decided to do a little bit more of a sit down talk sort of video just because my spring break ended up being a lot more boring than I thought it was gonna be so needless to say I didn't vlog a whole lot I had mentioned in my previous vlog that I was going to do sort of like a sit down video talking about some new products that I have bought recently all of them are makeup products so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of talk about some of the new makeup I've gotten some of it I've used, some of it I haven't. Before I do, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let you know when I post more videos. So, recently I have started to become very, like, intrigued with, like, facial mists and sprays and setting sprays and all sorts of stuff. And one of my favorite sprays that I have purchased, I got this at Ulta. It's definitely not drugstore, but it's at the same time not very expensive either in my personal opinion, and I hate to spend money on things, but this is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. This is the little travel size that I got at Ulta. I got this for like $5. I went back to go and see if I could get another one, and of course they didn't have any more of the travel size, but I did manage to grab a full size and a four ounce one, which is kind of like their regular travel size. So I am pretty well stocked on this stuff. It just smells amazing. I love to put it on like even like after I've taken all my makeup off and it just really helps to moisturize my face. It smells amazing. And continuing on the facial spray sort of Brain. I decided to purchase two other facial sprays from the brand Makeup Revolution. The first one that I got was a Pro Base Aqua Priming Base. This one is meant to basically use as like a primer, like a lightweight primer sort of thing. I have used this one a couple times. I will typically use this before I put on my actual primer. So I put like my moisturizer on and then I put this one on and then I'll put my actual primers. Really what I use it for is just to kind of add a little bit more moisture to my face because I have really dry skin. And it was pretty inexpensive as well. Makeup Revolution is really inexpensive. The other spray that I got is more of a setting kind of spray. It's from the same brand, Makeup Revolution, and it's the Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. This is what you put on after you have put all your makeup on and it's kind of meant to give your skin that little bit of a glowy feeling after everything is said and done. I like to glow. I love that glowy feeling. I go crazy on highlighters sometimes and this just kind of adds that little extra illumination to my skin and dewiness that I love. Continuing sort of with like primers and stuff like that, I have been using the Milani Prime Light face primer which is meant to strobe and also minimize your pores. I have been using this for probably a week or so by now, maybe even two weeks. I have no idea at this point, but I have really been loving this. I'll put it on my beauty blender and I'll actually like put it on with my beauty blender and pat it into my pores and it really does actually like minimize your pores. It's not lying when it says that and it really gives you a illuminated feeling to your skin and just makes your skin look very nice and pretty. Also with Milani, I purchased a brow product. It is a brow pomade in the shade Brunette and I honestly, I've used like pencils and like basically my brow routine was I would use like the e.l.f gel, then I would use a pencil, then I would use eyeshadow. With this brow pomade, I can some days get away with just using the pomade. This stuff works awesome. I love this stuff and it's really, it's pretty inexpensive. You get a little brush that comes with it. It's got the brush tip and then the spoolie on the bottom. So that's another thing I purchased that I've also been loving. Definitely two of my favorite products that I purchased was actually totally by chance. I went into Walgreens and lo and behold, I found two of the limited edition Wet n Wild highlighters. I am obsessed with the Wet n Wild highlighter, especially, I haven't tried the other shade, 
but the shade Precious Petals that they have with the Mega Glow Highlighter, absolutely love that. It's one of my favorite highlighters, and this these are just gorgeous. This shade is Lilac to Reality, and then this, this is like a purpley shade, and it's got a silver middle. And then this one is called The Sweetest Bling, and it's basically a pink highlighter. I honestly am obsessed with these. I don't know, like, necessarily stock-wise how, like, where you can find it in a store, but I know for sure you can get them online. So definitely, if you like inexpensive highlighters, I would definitely check these out because they're totally, totally just awesome. And I feel like this has just turned into a favorites video, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Continuing on the Wet n Wild kind of sort of train because Wet n Wild has honestly just been killing it lately. And one of the things that I have really, really been loving, I think I've been using this for probably over a month now, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the shade Nude Ivory and honestly this foundation is amazing. It's like six dollars. It's medium buildable full coverage and just the way it goes on your skin and like at the end like I've been wearing this foundation for probably a good five to six hours and it really doesn't look too bad but like pretty much this foundation will last you most of the day and it really doesn't feel like heavy or anything like that so definitely been loving this foundation and then actually today I purchased the wet n wild concealer that goes with this foundation I got it in the shade light ivory I'm hoping that this is uh, this was the lightest shade that they had at my Walmart I'm hoping that this will be light enough but I am really excited to try this. It was like about $4 and if it works, it works. I will be happy. So excited to try this and see how this works. With most of the products that I've been talking about already, I've been discussing like using a beauty blender and putting it on there. I don't use an actual like beauty blender. I have used like the Real Techniques one and that was the one I used for a really long time. I actually still have one because I bought a two pack. Like a makeup sponge that I have been using lately and loving is the Eco Tools like blending sponge. I absolutely like you can tell it's been well loved. I've been loving this one because honestly just the way it fits like on your face and the way that like it has these edges it makes it perfect for like baking or getting right underneath the eye. It's honestly just like the perfect sponge. I absolutely love this. And it even comes with a smaller one. So definitely a really good deal and they work really, really well. I decided to try and be a little more experimental with my makeup and that included with contouring. I don't typically contour. I typically will just use bronzer and call it good. But I decided to be a little bit more adventurous. So one of the products that I got is the Jordana Sculpt and Go. I got this at Walgreens as well and it is a creamy contour stick. It's a pretty light shade and it's a very cool shade which is very nice. It blends out really well. It was, I think it was maybe like four dollars if I remember correctly. It was really inexpensive and it just glides on really well. It blends out really well and it leaves a nice contour without it being too over the top which is perfect for me. Inevitably there had to be one product out of everything that I bought that I did not like and there was actually a product that I didn't like and that was the Koki Professional Liquid Lipstick and the shade is gorgeous. I absolutely love this shade. It's totally up my alley and this is a new brand that I've been seeing. It. I saw it at my Walmart. It replaced the Flower Beauty that was at my Walmart and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna try some of this stuff. Thankfully, I only got one of these, otherwise I would have been probably very upset. But basically this shade, I don't know how to express it, but just the way it goes on, it's kind of streaky. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of streaky and it just, it does not go on well. I don't know, it looks really streaky in my opinion. And when I put it on my lips, I did it like, I wore it like two times. The first time it looked awful, like it just looked horrible. And then the next time I tried it again, exfoliating my lips and it was bearable. But still at the same time, I'm like, I'm not going to put something on my lips that the entire time I'm gonna be sitting there thinking, wow, this just like is not fun to wear at all. 
So I don't know if it was just the purple shade. I don't know if the other shades are any better, but I did not like this shade. The shade is shadowy. Like I said, the shade color is beautiful, but it just, I feel like it's way too streaky and just not all there when it comes to pigmentation. I would much rather use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. That goes on beautifully and perfectly and just looks amazing. And then the last three products are actually something that I got at Ross. Ross has a pretty good makeup selection. A lot of the things that I get, like I've got Real Techniques brushes at Ross. They're starting to sell some NYX stuff there now. And for a while, they have been selling bundles of Physician Formula stuff. Typically, it's like bronzers and blushes. Nothing too like over the top expensive from Physician's Formula, but I finally gave in and I bought one. And it had a package of bronzers. I don't know if you can see them, but there's the bronzers. There's three of them, so we'll go one at a time. This one, I honestly am obsessed with this packaging. It is the Low Boosting 2-in-1 Bronze and Highlighter. The packaging itself is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. And then you open it up, and then the actual product itself, it's not a very like dark bronzer, which, I mean, it's light, obviously. And that works perfect for me because I'm pretty pale, especially once I put foundation on, color shows up really well. But what I really like is it kind of just gives you that nice subtle bronze, and then also when you mix it, it's got that highlight shade right there. Highlight shade is very subtle and it just kind of adds a little bit extra, nothing too over the top. So this is definitely a really nice one. I have not used this one yet, just because I really haven't had a need to. But this is the Glow Boosting Season to Season Bronzer in from medium, <laughs> medium to dark. It came obviously with the bundle. As you can kind of see, it's got like four different shades. And then also I think that core kind of has a little bit of highlighting aspect to it. Lightest to darkest is going to be winter, spring, fall, and winter. Um, I haven't used this one yet, so I will keep you updated on it. My favorite bronzer that I've been using from these three has been the PH Matchmaker. Now the claim on this one basically is that it's supposed to match to the sunlight in your pH levels and give you that perfect bronze. And I can honestly say that, for me anyway, I've been using it and every time, like I'm using, I have it on right now, and it's nothing too like over the top, but it gives you like a little bit of dimension. And this is the light bronzer, so I'm sure there's like darker ones too. But this is the one that I use. I know it looks really light, but once you put it on, like it kind of just morphs into this color that honestly, it's like the perfect glow. I was very pleasantly surprised when I actually put it on and it was like actually pretty spot on. So definitely the one I've really been loving. So that is gonna do it for all of the new makeup products that I have purchased, kind of some of my thoughts on them. If you guys like this video, please be sure to hit the like button down below. Let me know that you like this video and if you want me to do other videos like this where I kind of get an accumulation of products and then I tell you guys about it, that would be great. Also, leave comments down below if there's any products that you would want an in-depth review on like maybe the foundation or the concealer or the facial spray. I don't know, you guys name it and I will put a more in-depth review. Also, if there's any products that you would like me to try out, please leave that in the comments down below as well. And then if you've done all that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. Let you know when I post new videos and I post videos two times a week, Mondays and Fridays. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!